Hello and welcome to a booster box opening for the X and Y base set uh, as you can see there and on the front and stuff I'll get the plastic off in a second this is probably going to be in four parts because it's 36 packs so that'll be about nine packs a, a part which isn't bad um, before I open it let's have a look There's, that's the front and that's the side with Mega Venusaur the back, if you want to read that, pause it, or whatever. And that's the side with Mega Blastoise. Uh, pretty damn cool. My favourite of the Megas. Because it involves Blastoise. And the uh, top with Xerneas. So, without further ado, let's open this. That didn't actually do anything. Haha! Just move the camera a bit. Okay then. And here is the booster box. Um, I can never remember how to... Yeah, I think you got to take them out and then put in the flap at the back, I think. Uh, let's see. Haha! -ha! There we are. Looking like a booster box. Ooh, yeah. Uh, right then. So, I'll put them all back. For now. Um, boom. Right. They are all ready. Um, so, as I said, nine packs in this part. Let's begin with the Xerneas pack. Now, I don't know what to expect from this set, because I've not actually looked at any of the scans, apart from Mega Venusaur. So, let's see what do. Let's begin. I'm going to try and keep... Okay, not keeping the pack intact. Especially not this one. Well done, me. Uh, right. Ah, now I also don't know the card trick. I'm assuming it's two... I'm going to open the first one normally. Uh, that's the code card. Obviously not going to show the back because that has a code on it. And open the pack normally and then I'll open the subsequent ones in the proper way. So first we have a very cool star you there. We have a, a Panacea. Yay, everyone's favourite Pokemon, the Fire Monkey. We have a, ooh, a chest spin. That's pretty cool. First Kalos Pokemon. Uh, oh, he's quite cute. Then we have an Inky. Oh. Again, rather cute. And it's a dark type. Huh. Oh yeah, it is a dark type, obviously. Uh, next we have a Phantom. One of my favourite Pokemon. Ooh, and we now have a reverse Lunatone. Ooh. No, oh, actually not. I don't think I have a Lunatone card, actually. And he's fighting, okay. Now a rare thingy is a uh, the, the Pan Simi Sage. Yay, another one of the monkeys. There we are. Good. Right, and then we have two, three left. Okay. Uh, we have a Great Ball. Oh, well, that's a pretty cool artwork, actually. Uh, it does as other Great Balls do, I'm assuming. Uh, we have a Gerda. Pretty cool Gerda there. And, finally, a Team Flare Grunt. Cool. Interesting. If you know what that does, read the description now. Okay. That's going to close my curtains a bit, because there's a bit too much glare. That should make it better, I think. Right, next pack. A Evil Tal one. Or oh, Yveltal, depends how you want to pronounce it, really. Uh, right. Let's see, will this one be opened any better? No, not particularly. Good. Uh, 
nhá uh, right okay opening these is not as easy as I thought so it is one two three one two right cool let's begin first up is an Ekins in a tree which is quite cute Uh, next up is a Timber, that's cool. All I need is a Conkel, don't know, and I've got the entire Timber Evolution one. We have, ooh, oh wow, they have energies in the booster packs again. Oh, sweet, this is actually really, really handy, because it uh, means I can begin actually building decks of other elements apart from the elements of decks I've already bought pre-built. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, well, we have a Thunder Energy. We have a Weedle in a tree. I can see a theme here. Ekans and Weedle, both in a tree. We ha Ooh! Oh yeah! A Fairy Energy! Yes! I was concerned these wouldn't be given away in booster packs and I'd have to buy some, but uh... Ooh, that's very nice. The symbol's interesting. And very pink. Okay. Now we have a Ledian. Oh, I quite let I quite like Ledian, mainly because his name is very similar to mine. Uh, we have a Mr. Mime. Uh, ooh, yeah, it's a fairy card. That's cool. I think this is the first fairy card I've got. Uh, so that ooh, very dark pink. That's an interesting shade there. I thought it was reverse for a few minutes. Next, we have another girder. That's cool. Then we have a reverse venipede. Uh you know, not bad. That's that's cool. And oh shit! Oh wow, okay, an emolga EX. Emolga EX. Who thought an emolga okay, well, right. Cool. Emolga has an EX card because he was he was due one, obviously. Uh right. That's wow, okay, that's cool. An EX in the second pack. Uh not sure how many X's are found in each booster box, but uh, I'm I'm imagining only a few, so one of them's Imolga. Yay. Well, his eyes shine, if you can kind of see. Anyway, I'm going to change the lighting a bit, so I shall be right back. Okay, I am back. Uh, adjusted the light a bit. Next up, we have a Mega Blastoise pack. Oh, yeah. Hoping for a good... Good pull in this pack because Blastoise packs have always been good to me. Base set, my very first pack of base set, I got a Hollow Moo 2, uh, which I was very, very proud of. I mean, admittedly, it wasn't the best card. I'm not particularly that rare anymore, but you know, I was pleased with it because Mew 2 is cool. As is Blastoise. However, this pack is not yielding. Aha, yes, it is, almost. Okay. Cold card again. Two, three, two. Boom. Done. Right. Let's begin with Pan Sage. Oh, yeah. Another fairy energy. That's cool. A non reverse hollow venipede. A jigglypuff, which is a fairy type now. That's pretty damn cool. We have a Leddy Bar. Again. Pretty cool. I like, quite like Lenny Bar. That artwork's okay. I mean, nothing's really stood out so far in terms of artwork to me, but you know. Mulgary X, I guess, is really cute. We have a Shauna. I think the ability of this card is it follows you everywhere, really unsubtly, uh, until you die. Then there's uh, Volbeat. That's its name. I couldn't remember it. Looking quite cute. Next we have a. Uh, Cassius. Uh, I can't remember who Cassius is, but he's definitely someone. And then we have a reverse Mr. Mime. It's pretty cool. Ooh, a reverse fairy. Ah, uh, oh, they don't have the embossed. Uh, oh, yes, they do. If you can kind of see, it's the fairy symbol. Uh, kind of difficult to see. And we have. A Scolopede! Yay, I have the Scolopede family. I quite like Scolopede. Never used him, but you know, he's, he's got a pretty cool design. Right, 
Well, that's three packs done. Six more to go in this part. Zunius pack. Uh, right, see if I can open this properly. Nope, oh, ripped the back already. Ah, well, oh. Oh, brilliant. This is properly being decimated. Uh, right. Okay, uh, code card, let's shuffle. Right, a grass energy. That's pretty cool. I haven't seen these energy cards in ages because, uh, I mean, they still come in decks and stuff, but like in booster packs, it's quite a novelty. Takes me back to the good old days. Actually, in terms of the card game, it's not really been a bad old days yet. We have a Pikachu. Ah, and we're surprised, a Pikachu in a TCG set. Uh, that's an interesting pause he's pulling there. He looks like he's in slight amounts of pain. Then we have Pan Sage again. Yay! We have another fairy energy. I'm seeing a pattern here. I've had three fairy energies in, out of four booster packs. We have a Venipede. We have another Shona. We have another Volbeat. We have Cassius. This is this pack is slightly deja vu esque. Ah, a reverse Dunsparce. Interesting. Very shiny and white. And we have ooh, hello. We have a hollow Del Fox. Ooh, that's a very nice fox. Wow, that's cool. Despite the fact I actually don't have any Fennekins or Braxians. That's pretty cool. Okay then. So far, pretty good pulls. An EX, even if it is a Mulga. And a Hollow Delphox. Ooh, next up we have a Evil Tell pack. This is pack five now. Uh, four more to go, I believe, after this. For part one. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. I dropped it, uh, as you saw, and I, I don't actually know. I've kind of worked out what's in the pack, so this isn't going to be in any order, because this is how I picked it up, basically. So, we have a Zorua, first one. Uh, Venipede. A Skitty. Oh, that's quite cute. Another fairy energy. We have a Weedle. A rare candy? No, Max Revive. I'm sorry. Uh, we have a reverse Whirlipede. That's cool. Also, I realise now that now I have the full Scholopede set. We have a hollow chestnut, which is pretty fucking cool. I only need a hollow. Greninja, and they have all three Kalos starters. We have a Dodrio, that's pretty cool, and a Ledian. Right, next pack I shall try to open properly. Uh, right. Good, there we are. They're not going anywhere this time. Three, two. Right, let's begin. A Doduo. That's pretty cool. I quite like Doduo. It's an underappreciated Pokemon. We have a. Oh, Pumpkaboo! Yay! I love Pumpkaboo. He's so cool. And his evolution's actually really cool, I think. We have a Jigglypuff uh, singing with a flower because, you know, that's the best way to sing. Uh, 
we have a Slugma, as I say Pig Knight then, but no, that's not Pig Knight. We have a Honedge. Ooh, yes, Honedge. Nice. I love that evolution line. Hope to get the other two. I probably will. We have a Super Potion. That's cool. We have a Hoodia. Okay, that, that line's in this set, apparently. Cool. We have a Fletch... Oh, Fletchinder. That's cool. Fletchinder. I, I forgot about these Pokemon, but yeah. We have a Reverse Wigglytuff. That's pretty cool. And it's a fairy type. Yay. That's really cute, actually. Um, and we have a Stokeland. Yay, I guess. Stokeland's pretty cool. Right. And I'll organize the table again. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Um, I've organized the table better and I'm sat in a better position. So, let's get on to a Xerneas pack. There seem to only be three pack designs in this set, I've noticed, but if you're keeping up with TCG, I believe it's Bushfire or... no, something. It's the, the one with the uh, Charizard, like Mega Charizard on the front of the packs. That set's been announced for me. That should be interesting, because there's 140 cards in this set, so it's not like they're in desperate need of a new set or anything. But apparently it's it's coming out. Unless it's coming out in Japan. I haven't actually got much of a clue about that set. But wherever. Right. Let's begin. Lily Pup. Cool. Oh, Froakie! Yay! I love this line. It is the best starter in Kalos, hands down. Uh, that's its attack and stuff, if you want to see. Next, we have a, a Sandoil. Looking quite cute there, in a desert. Next we have a Diglett. That's an interesting Diglett there. Very interesting. Uh, yeah, cool. Next we have a Jigglypuff. Aww. And a Delcati. That's cool. Uh, right. Next we have a... Uh, fairy Garden. Is that the name for the fairy type gym? I cannot remember. Uh, then we have a Woolipede. We have a Reverse Skitty. That's very adorable. And, oh, hello! A Hollow Talon Flame. Wow. He's cool. And quite edgy. But, uh, you know, still. He's still pretty cool. Uh, cool, that's like three hollows I've pulled so far. I'm doing pretty damn well. Okay. Uh, right, I'm just going to put this pack through the back. Right, next pack. Mega Blastoise. Uh, this is the penultimate pack for this part. begin. Another Froakie. Yay! We have a Skitty. We have a Shelder. Oh, that's pretty cool. Not seen Shelder so far. We have a Fletchling, which is normal. Oh, yeah, it's only, it only becomes fire when it evolves, doesn't it? Yeah, I keep forgetting that. It's quite cute. Next we have oh it's uh what's it called? A Swillix! Yay! Marshmallow Dog. I've never used one myself, but it's fairy type and it's quite adorable. Uh is that 3D actually? That's a 3D model, I believe. Uh next we have a different Inke with a really big ability. You can pause it if you want to read that. It's probably something about turning the card upside down and evolving it or whatever. Uh, no, that's not actually his thing. Next we have 
the Lunatorn again. That's pretty cool. Ooh, a Corsola! Yay, I haven't seen Corsola in years. You're so happy underwater. Then we have a reverse Jigglypuff. I'm sure I've got about three of those now. And we have a Malamar. No, no. Yes, Malamar. Yay, it's that Pokemon. Cool. Right. Final one. Uh, for this final pack, for this part. Uh, let's go with Xerneas. Okay, code card, one, two, three, one, two, I just shuffled that horribly, I think, I think I just shuffled one of the cards halfway through the back, okay then, well, we have Diggersby, yay, everyone's favourite uh, rabbit, I believe on VP, uh, the, the, the Bunnelby is known as Shit Rabbit, uh, I can understand why. Voltorb, yay! I love Voltorb because round things are the perfect shape of Pokemon or whatever it was that girl said in the Pokeball shop. Ooh, yes, Skiddo! Oh, I love Skiddo. If I get a Gorgot, I'd be so fucking pleased. Uh, Look at it, it's an adorable goat! Oh. Next, we have a Scatterbug. I quite like Scatterbug. Ooh, I wonder what they're gonna do with um, Vanilla. Vanil yeah. Whatever it evolves in. Vivillion. wonder if it's going to have different forms, sort of, from different countries. Ooh, that would be really cool. Anyway, sorry, I'm rambling now. Next, we have a Weedle on a tree again. And we have a Rhyhorn. Just like your mother used to race. That's, that's not an insult. That's part of the canon of X and Y. Next, we have a Shadow Circle. Cool, I guess. Ooh, we have a Frogadier! Yay! Only need a Greninja now. Look at him. He's so cool. And he looks like Kermit the Frog when he stands up in Pokemon Ami. But maybe that's just me. Uh, we have a Reverse Bisharp. That's a pretty cool Bisharp, I guess. And we... Ooh! Oh! Hello! We have a Mega Venusaur EX! Yeah! Look at that HP! 230! It's fucking huge. And that does 120 damage, I believe. And I can't exactly remember what it does, but... Ooh, yes! Mega Venusaur! Oh, yeah! The only scan I actually read. So you need a Venusaur, and then you evolve it, I'm assuming. Uh, somehow. I'll read the rules later. I'm sure you're all aware of how they work and stuff. Ooh, that's very nice. We have six, seven, eight, nine. This is the last pack for this part, so stay tuned for part two, and what a way to end it, Mega Venusaur EX. Thank you very much for watching, goodbye for now. Ooh.